Yeah, uh, good afternoon, my distinguished uh, gentlemen and ladies in the grand community. My name still remains Reverend Ngoa Ajuku. I come to you this day, the 16th day of June 2024. It has become important that I must come to talk and uh, bring your attention to something that is happening. To those that want to listen, just listen. To those that don't want, want to listen, that is their cup of tea. The duty of an elder is to just talk. So if you like, you take. If you don't like, you leave it. I'm coming out because of the meeting I had that uh, Apostle Ken and uh, the NGOs had. What touched me is that Apostle Ken was telling the NGO that if this money is not disbursed, that uh, and, uh, everybody should hold our Grand Pressure Group responsible. Now, let me tell you, Apostle Ken has seen the handwriting on the wall. He's trying to shift blame. Now, let me just tell all those people that he was talking to. Can you kindly tell me how and why you will hold our Grand Prager group? If not that he wants to use your brain. Anything you do, anything you spend, you spend it in the name of UAAG, which he claimed to be the country director. He said he's the country director. So let me tell you, he must answer for it. He's trying to shift blames because he knows he has failed. So that people will now say it's all grand pressure group. For what? It's all grand pressure group dragging his uh, his uh, 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 CD with him, uh, uh, UAG country director with him. The answer is no. So please, he, he remains the country director of UAG. And now let me tell you people the truth. Apostle Ken knows fully well that he had defrauded this country, this the, the NGOs, the masses. People can say whatever they like against me, but when the case will start, you people will see it. Apostle Ken came and said he is the country director of UAAG. When he has not gotten any documents to prove that, I cautioned him.